In today's video, we're going to talk about defending. I'm going to teach you the basic defensive options you have on Wake Up and the pros and cons of each of them. By the end of this video, and with a little bit of practice, you will be able to play like the pros. If you have any questions, I stream live on Twitch, so feel free to come and chat. The link is in the description. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy this video. When you get knocked down, you have to decide what you want to do as you wake up. Wake up is a term that describes the act of getting up from the ground after a knockdown. Let's look at some of the options you can choose from. Crouch blocking. This involves holding down back. If your opponent chooses to attack you as you wake up, you can crouch block to protect yourself from mid and low attacks. The advantages of blocking are that it prevents the opponent from scoring a hit. It allows you to punish any unsafe moves the opponent may attempt. Blocking an attack string can push you out to a safe distance. And ultimately, it forces the opponent to use a different method of attack if they want to open you up. The disadvantages of blocking are that you are vulnerable to throws. You are vulnerable to overheads. And your opponent may be able to continuously inflict Grey Life if you block for too long. The Grey Life will increase the damage of your opponent's attacks and throws if they connect while it is present. Backdash or Jump You can backdash or jump on Wake Up to try and escape a pressure situation. By quickly pressing backwards twice as you wake up, you will perform a backdash. By holding any of the upwards directions, you will perform a jump. The advantages of backdashing or jumping are that you will be throw invincible. If the opponent attempts to shimmy you or bait your wake up attack, you will escape the situation. And, if your opponent mistimes their attack sequence, you might be air reset, which could create a situation that you can capitalise on. In this example, Armika knocks Karen down and tries to attack her as she wakes up. Armika mistimes her attack and hits Karen out of her backdash, causing Karen to be air reset. Armika then mistimes her second attack and Karen capitalises with a whiff punish into a combo. The disadvantage of backdashing or jumping is that you will be left vulnerable to your opponent's attacks as long as they time them correctly. Wake up attack. This involves waking up with a quick attack. The advantage of waking up with an attack is that you can sometimes turn a defensive situation into an offensive one. In this example, Sakura knocks Kami down and mistimes her standing medium punch. Kami wakes up with a crouching light punch and she is able to capitalise on Sakura's mistake with a counter hit combo. There are three different types of wake-up recovery in Street Fighter V. Normal recovery, back recovery, and delayed recovery. Because of this, it can sometimes be tricky for players to correctly time their attacks after they score a knockdown. This is why, in the heat of the moment, wake-up attacks may hit more often than you might expect. You can also use a wake-up low attack to counter an opponent who you think will try to shimmy you 
or bait your invincible move. The disadvantage of waking up with an attack is that you will be left vulnerable to your opponent's attacks if they time them correctly. Delayed Throw Tech One of the most powerful defensive options is the Delayed Throw Tech, commonly referred to as a Delayed Tech. A Delayed Tech involves blocking on Wake Up for a short period, then pressing the Throw button. The advantage is that it will protect you from both attacks and throws. The disadvantage is that it will lose to a shimmy and you will be left open to a big punish Wake Up Invincible Move Another powerful wake up option is to use an invincible move. Almost all characters in the game have an invincible attack or critical art. The advantage of using a wake up invincible move is that it will put a stop to your opponent's pressure and deal some damage to them. The disadvantage of using a wake up invincible move is that if your opponent blocks your attack, you will be left wide open for a big punish. So what is the best defensive option out of all of those that have been discussed? The truth is, there isn't just one. In order to have a strong defense, you have to pay attention to how your opponent is attacking you and mix up your options accordingly. Having a strong defense that is built on an understanding of how an opponent is attacking is often what separates the pros from the rest. So, do you understand how to defend? Can you play like the pros? Let me know in the comments below and also tell me if there are any other topics you want me to cover. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. Thanks for watching.